everybody welcome to the channel how you doing from whichever part of the world you are watching this video from i hope you are okay so in this video what i'll be talking about is breast enlargement for the women females actually how to enlarge your breast or ways three ways you can enlarge your breast not for the male though i don't want any guy to be watching this video and think he can enlarge his breast no you can't you have pectoralis muscles there you can't enlarge it you can only make them look muscular so three ways to enlarge your breast if you like the video nah not like the video let's go Yes, so before I will mention the three ways you can enlarge your breast, as for the female, first things first, I just want to give a quick summary about the female breast. Because this video is basically uh, focused more on the female breast and how to enlarge it. And in today's world, I know because of the, the, the uh, internet pressure and all of the social media, you know, things, the factors that are actually pressurize young females these days to go to deeper extent in order to look or to impress the public i understand that but this video is is, is based on health wise you know just for positive reasons this should not be a reason why you should say oh dr luben said we should do this and then my breast will become like this no that's not what i'm saying so the first way you can increase your breast as a woman the first one is through pregnancy yes and then you start thinking okay if i want to enlarge my breast should i become pregnant if you are ready for it, yeah. But if you are not ready to become pregnant, please don't, don't do that. But these are just ways, like I said before, health-wise. So the first one is through pregnancy. And how is it possible that someone's, a woman's breast become bigger through pregnancy? Now, when a woman conceives, right, there's a particular membranous uh, kind of an interchange of communication which is being formed from the uh, baby and the mother, which is the placenta. I did a video about that. I will put the, the link in the description below. So now, the placenta produces two particular hormones, which are progesterone and oestrogen. So these hormones work hand in hand. The oestrogen, what it does is, it kind of increases the spaces, the alveoli. You know, the breast has uh, some particular air sac, not air sac, just some bags that contain milk. So we we'll call those ones alveoli. So what it does is it increases their surface area so that more milk can be produced. Also, it causes the mammary gland to enlarge and produce more just so as to prepare it for the baby in case the baby is being born, you know, so that the baby can suck the milk actually. So what for the progesterone, what it does is it continues with the oestrogen. Where the oestrogen stop, the progesterone continues from there. And you will notice that in some instances, progesterone is considered a, a pregnancy hormone. You hear some people saying progesterone is like a pregnancy hormone. Because without these particular hormones, abortion can take place. And some of these hormones also forms some of the pregnancy tests. Like human chronic gonadotropin and also oestrogen, progesterone, they form some pregnancy tests which a woman goes to the hospital. You want to tell if you are pregnant, they will test for those particular hormones. And if these hormones are secreted on a very high level, then they will know that you are pregnant. But for the course of the video, you know that these particular hormones, they kind of cause some changes in the breast. So the breast can enlarge. The progesterone also causes the breast to swell up. You know, there are some subcutaneous tissues and fat around the breast, right? So because of these hormones, they, what they do is they trigger the addition of fat to these particular spaces or these particular areas of the breast. So the breast become bigger. That's the first one. The second one mm, is surgically. Now, there's a space, right, in the breast known as the retro mammary space. This space is located just, you know, the breast, what happens is there are some lubus. Right? There are some lubus that contains that the breast has and also will have the ligaments. These ligaments attach the lubus to the subcutaneous tissue of the chest. So now between that space, between the subcutaneous tissue and this lubus, there's a space. It's all retro. Retro means something that is behind. So retro mammary space is a particular space whereby surgically some a, a, a kind of a ball or sack of a particular fluid, which is harmless to the body, is being inserted there. This actually increases the size of the breast, and you will notice some. Um, it happens mostly in um, celebrities. You see, most of the celebrities do it surgically. You see them; they go and implant through plastic surgery. Their breast become bigger because that space is being utilized. You know, they will just put something there and it just make the breast look bigger. The third one, which is very very interesting, is through supplement. Yes, supplements. And when I say supplement, I'm not just talking about one side. Drugs can also in, in, enhance the product, the you know, enlargement of breasts. You also have some natural food, right? Fruits. There are some particular fruits that also enhance the enlargement of the breast. Now, 
In terms of drugs, some of those drugs contain the initial hormones I mentioned, the estrogen and progesterone. These drugs contain those hormones on a high they, they kind of can induce the body to produce those hormones on a high level. So now when you have a lot of estrogen and progesterone being produced into the woman's body, then they will have an effect on the breast, which will also cause the breast to increase in size. Now, you should also understand that there are also supplements. Some of these supplements, what it just does is it will just trigger the body to release these hormones, these vital hormones which alter the, who has an alteration on the female breast. So you notice a woman who has given birth after some time, her breast become bigger. In fact, a woman who, who has small breasts, after giving birth to three, four children, you see the breast become bigger. And you'll be asking yourself, how come now? Because of these hormones. Now, I will also do a video on the type of supplement, the safer and the unsafe, because everything comes with, a, with an opposite charge. You know, also have disadvantages. So some people might say, well, I can take some drugs and my breast will become bigger. I'll take some supplement. There are some of these drugs that come with um, some effect or some disadvantages too. Uh, like some effects, right? Some complications that you might not notice. Over time, it could become a problem. So I'll do a video on that separately. So if you want to, if you want to actually look at it, if you want to check out the video, if you want to see the video, I suggest you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, so that whenever I release that particular video, you can follow up and watch it. And then there's something else I want to talk about. There could be genetic variation, right? So there are some women that their breasts are not going to be big. Regardless of the fact that the estrogen, the progesterone is going to produce, this is genetic-wise. There, there could be bad defects that of, of, often occur in some women who could not uh, alter their pregnancy regardless of the fact that they are pregnant the breast might not become big but in essence you there are rare cases you find women like that sometimes it could be maybe it's a trait or a genetic makeup or their genetic makeup does not warrant then their breast will not increase regardless of the fact that this estrogen uh, you know triggers the increase in size in breast now someone might ask okay how about older women because if you notice some older women the breast is not big the breast start falling. The breast start becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Why? Because they've given birth to many children. Now, so their breast should even be more bigger. But why is it that it's smaller? Because over time, as the, a woman ages, the fats from these particular areas of the breast is being reduced. Remember, the fats which are being deposited in those subcutaneous tissues are the ones that increase the size of the breast, right? So now if these fats are being lost, what happens is the breast will kind of look flaccid. So it will start falling. And falling breast also has to do with the ligament, like I said, the suspensory ligament. This ligament attach the lubus that produce milk into, on, like, let me say, not into, onto the chest of, of the woman. So now over time, this suspensory ligament lose their elastic limit. What, that, what it means is if you can stretch something for a particular period of time, it will get to a point where the thing loses the, the, the ability to stretch. So it cannot go back to, it cannot go further than that. It will just stay, you know, stagnant in the position it was. And because of that, the breast will start falling. And then you see have women who, even at the age of 50, 60, their breasts are still standing. Like I said, genetic-wise. But for the course of the video, I'll just summarize three ways you can enlarge your breast. I'll do a video on the third one, which are supplements and drugs, and the safer ways you can actually increase your breast through exercises and other ways which could not cause harm to your body. And I'll also give you the ones that will cause harm to your body. So thank you for watching. If you are new, like I said, subscribe. Hmm, come on, join the channel. You know, let's make this fun. If you like the video, just subscribe. And then you will see more of the videos that I'll be producing. And then you can really enjoy it. And also share it to anybody who could find this useful. Thank you.